its track review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, everybody. Anthony Fantano here, the internet's checking the time. Busiest music nerd. And this is Track Reviews, where we talk about the latest in rock, pop, electronic, and experimental music, and whether or not it's good. Yes. Now, many of you may be asking yourselves, hey, Anthony, that new uh, Strokes single came out. Why aren't you reviewing it? <laughs> I already have. It's on the needledrop.com audio review. I just kind of wanted to do it, you know, audio style. I wanted to get it up the day that it came out. Go listen to it over there. Link in the D-box. Plus, I've been reviewing too much stuff that's, you know, requested lately. Let's do some stuff that, you know, I kind of want to turn you on to. That cool? And if you don't like it, tough sh**. So let's talk about this thing. The band is Anamanaguchi. This is their latest single, Airbrushed, or their latest physical single, rather. These guys are a New York band, and a lot of people would lump this act into the chiptune set. Now, if you don't know what chiptunes are, go to the website 8-Bit Peoples and come back. These guys are doing big things right now. They have been credited for writing the soundtrack to that Scott Pilgrim movie. And last year, they came out with a series of free digital singles that were a huge hit with their fans. One of the tracks actually ended up on my favorite songs of 2010 list. Now, starting this March, March 1st, they're going to be releasing physical 7 inches. Some, I imagine, are some of those summer tracks they released last year, but maybe there will be some new stuff in there. I don't know. All I do know is that the first single will be the first single they released last summer, Airbrushed. Let's give a listen to it. Link down there. See what it's got to offer. Good times. Wow, 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 wow. I think at this point in their career, I can honestly say that I'm in love with this band. When these guys dropped their debut album a while back, I heard it. I thought it was okay. It was fun. It had a nice little, you know, web series of uh, animations going along with it that made it, you know, really interesting to listen to. But still, it didn't impress me then as much as it is now. At this point, what I like so much about Anamanaguchi is that they are smashing, just smashing all preconceived notions about 8-bit music. It's not just for dorks anymore. But seriously, anybody who appreciates rock music can appreciate this. These guys really make that chip tune 8-bit sound accessible by, of course, fleshing it out with rock instrumentation, guitars, drums. You could look at it like that, or you could see it as a rock band adding something unique to make them sound different from their contemporaries. That unique thing being those 8-bit tones. Either way, the equation adds up to a huge win here. In an instrumental track that has the righteous melodies of the champs and the party all night attitude of Andrew W.K. This thing starts off with no BS whatsoever. Pumping drums, distorted guitars, just layers of 8-bit sounds. And it's really cacophonous. This thing blares at you, but it's mixed and produced really, really well. Though it is loud, it's easy to pull apart and make sense of what's going on. When the first burst of sound in this song kind of, you know, pans out, fades away, you get this lead melody coming in against the drums that sounds a little bit like that Pains of Being Pure at Heart track comes Saturday, but only for a second, because after that, it jumps into the next idea. And that's another thing I dig about this track. It's constantly in a state of change and or flux, but despite that, it's really easy to get off the bat. It's highly accessible. This thing takes electronics and makes them rock the f out. It's just got great production, memorable melodies, detailed songwriting, great attitude. Aside from my guess that maybe some people would see this music as being very cheesy, very corny, uh, I can't say one bad thing about it. I'm feeling like a strong friggin nine on this thing. I'm enjoying the hell out of it, and I can't wait to see what other seven inches these guys put out later this year. So, Look for this thing. Once it gets released physically, it's supposed to have a crazy-ass 3D cover. So, uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, March 1st. I'm waiting. What do y'all think of this track? What do y'all think of 8-bit music, chip tunes, love it, hate it, love this, hate this, why? And, uh, what do you think I should review in the far-off future when, you know, 
I get tired of reviewing stuff that I want to review, which will probably be maybe Monday or Tuesday. Anthony Fantano, Anamanaguchi, forever. Mm -hmm.